Well, here we go. We have Marshall and Fonz in winners finals. You and V Marshall. Yeah. You and V Marshall. You and V Marshall. So here we go. You and V Marshall versus Fonz. Starting up on Smashville here. Gonna string a couple of up tilts. Ma Mario's classic. Yep. Ooh, I think he went for up smash. Just got the dash attack instead. Yep. Vaughn's applying so much pressure. Yeah. I think Fonz should close yep. the space more often and not give Marshall the opportunity to pull out the banana. A lot of Marshall's gameplay is related around his banana. Yeah. And then spacing fair to like cover his banana. So right there, Marshall going for the banana instantly. So if Fonz can just keep the space close and tight, I think he'll be able to nick this game out. So you gotta think that lately, and I've said this in just about every set, Franz still riding high after his recent placings. I mean, uh, Franz was eliminated by Ally and Kasev at Midwest Mayhem yesterday. You can't be too disappointed with those results. Those but really as uh, one of the best players in the Midwest, Sonoto has said, no loss is a good loss. You gotta learn from everything. Oh yeah. Got to make it significant. So you got to wonder if he's going to use any of that knowledge here in this match. Especially Already has the stock league here. He must have learned Two it. times now he's been eliminated by Ally and Winter's side. You know, that's a lot of learn you can do, though. He almost got oh, the yeah. fair. Back air is going to take it. So 57% on Marshall right now. Fonz with a small lead. Going to try to make the most out of this here. Two players very familiar with each other also. Both from the same town? Yep, both from the Madison area. Marshall, no, for those yep. that know Marshall, he, everyone knows he hates the Mario matchup. He does right. not like the character at all. So, I mean, this... I mean, there's only really one other character that he hates more. That would have to be Sonic, but... Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Ooh, good read on the air dodge. Now this game looking a lot more even. Almost looked like Fonz was going to run away with it early. Because Marshall's banana pressure has been great so far. Fonz for a grab there, tries to go for the up air. Good tomahawk. Yep. Oh, he should have forward thrown. Oh, oh that'll oh, that's be it. Throw. Here, that's dodge. gonna be it. Yeah. Fonz takes game one. I was going to say, I thought I would have killed from there. Taxi platform. Fonz needs 1-0. Fonz taking game one. Opted for the down air there instead of the forward air. But uh, it works out for Fonz in the end, so game one. Marshall air dodging to the platform, yep. getting all that lag, and being back thrown. Right. Town City. Marshall often takes people here, even though like he'll die a lot sooner, he, he right. kills more off like up tilts. So like it makes the up tilt kill range very smaller. Oh yeah. This Agent Duck on there are uh, some of his favorites. Oh, oh Fonz. and Fonz goes too deep there. First stock gone. I wonder if he didn't have a double jump or if he just upbeat and thought he'd make it. These button clubs I'm seeing from Fonz, I wonder if it's just like him trying yep. to up smash after things? Or if he's. Because I know he's not smash stick, he's tilt stick. Maybe he's just flubbing stuff? Yeah. Hopefully Fonz's ST doesn't, isn't a momentum killer. So 87% here. Oh! I'm actually not sure what happened there. Good Relatively nair. quick. Oh, oh, he almost got oh. hit by the barrels! Oh, and Marshall doesn't make it back. 
So here we go. 112 on Fonz. Gotta think at about the 130, about this range here, 130, 148. They're comparing the height. <laughs> All right. So, ended up missing that because we had a height comparison between a Smash 4 player and uh, John Money. So, <laughs> anywho. Marshall takes game two. Um, you know, just another uncharacteristic mistake by oh. Fonz. These and, small butterflies uh, are going to cost him yeah. a lot. Because it's not just like, oh, he jabbed at, in the middle of the stage. He's dropping combos because he's jabbing or dash tagging right. the other way. Which is a solid so, like 30% he's dropping. Oh, early combo there from Marshall. I think he was going for the down air on the top platform so he can combo even longer. Every time Fonz throws out that forward air, you just got to, you know, you got to tense up a little bit. Just the possibility of that hitting. We've seen what he can do with just that forward air. Mm -hmm. I know Smash that, and Splash against Pow Pow being the big example. I know at Middle's Mayhem, he said if. Oh! oh top platform low killing ceiling there. of Dreamland. It's actually Comes the same from FD as FD. Really? It's just the platforms that make it different. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure both players kind of fans of this stage. I know. Uh, Fawn's a big fan. Oh, yeah. Fawn's a big fan of this stage. Uh, if anybody who caught it, Madtown Smackdown, his uh, set against McMuffin was amazing, and Fawn's made an awesome comeback here on Dreamland, stringing multiple up airs and an upbeat to take it and advancing to Losers Finals where he faced Marshall. Ooh. I know at Midwest Mayhem, he mentioned if I ever fare in neutral, I'm messing up a raw back air. Yeah. So I, I know you mentioned... Oh, forward smash going to take it there. Good forward but smash. already 105% built up on Fonz. One up air could do this for Marshall. Oh, Ooh. Wispy coming at... Uh, the, coming, coming to Fonz the aid of Fonz there. 160% up tilt will definitely kill. Ooh, good forward air. Forward good air, up. is it enough? Yes. No jump. Good on no him jump. knowing that, hey, I down tilted him at 150. Up smash isn't going to yeah. connect. I got a forward air and throw him off stage. Xander, what do you have? All righty. So... Game three. Wait, no, game four. I bet. 2 1. Yep. You interview Marshall up. Yep. So, Marshall looking to advance into grand finals on winner's side for the first time in about two, uh, two or three weeks here. Two tournaments straight. He hasn't. Oh, no, excuse me. The last construct he did enter on winner's side. Yep, entered on loser's side at uh, Madtown SmackDown. Yes, that's true. Good but legend. entering on winner's side is definitely going to help him take his first tournament in what's close to a month now. But first, gotta get through Fonz. Gotta get through Fonz first. Fonz definitely not one to sleep on. I mean, he is a kid, so don't sleep on the kid. <laughs> Good forward forward smash. smash, not enough. Marshall barely waiting out these back airs and aerials from his recovery. Up smash, not enough. So, even percentages here. Last hit of the down air doesn't hit. Tries to go for that forward air. So we got Diddy with rage here. Ooh. And Mario with rage. Both two very scary characters. Oh, Up dude. smash will take it. So Fonz now, on one, stock side. one stock away from being sent to losers. Very good. Unfortunately, sending him to the left last yep. one. Fireball there kind of has Marshall uh, scrambling for answers. So here we go, even percentages again. 
But Marshall's stringing early. Oh. Just trying to keep Fonz at bay here. Ooh, air dodge. Send yep. combo. Very smart of Fonz, trying to ignite the, the barrels with the banana. Good patience on him. Up smash? Nope, not quite enough yet. Next one though, more than likely. Yep. 108. Just, oh, That'll there it is. It. So we're going to game so five. So here we go, side. game five. Two to two between Marshall and Fonz. Oh. Definitely do not sleep on the kid. <laughs> and to think, like, these two are from, like, the same region. They rode in the same car together. They probably play each other very very often in friendlies. So right. It's, like, so hard to, like, create new things on the go against your yeah. pretty one, much one of your practice partners. Yeah. So here we go. Both players are gonna have to play so solid here. The just steep advantage that you get entering grand finals on winner side. Get it. Could get you like, imagine the the momentum that Fonz would have if he knocks off Marshall here? Dude, did you see that perfect pivot up tilt? Perfect pivots are just so cool. I love them. Yeah. Ooh. Trying to read the jump. So Fonz building up percent early on Marshall. But it's just so even. Both players just seem to be at their best right now. I haven't seen close to any flubs between the two of them. Just both of them knowing how important this matchup is right now. I'm trying to. Oh! Barely Fawn's pushed. not able to punish. Fawn's gonna, like, get. Well, five more percent. Up smash is probably gonna kill. I'd say up smash would kill now. Oh. There's Ooh. the up smash out of the down tilt there. So here we go. One more stock. And Marshall makes it to winner side. However, Fawn's still trying to stay alive. About any mistake from Marshall can lead to a loss of a stock. Oh! If, if he would have uh, reverse up smash that and release it instantly, that would have got it. Yep. Oh, it scared that. Be there on the monkey flip. So. Fun's definitely going to have to take there this, and he does. 61%. So 61%. Lead. Still very doable for Fonz. He's, he's got to avoid getting hit by this banana. Yeah. Marshall's going to get a lot of footing if he lands one. Yeah. Ooh. Good mix up. All right, he's going to get a couple up tilts out of here. Not able to string a four, uh, an up air after that, but 100% now. Marshall's still going to have to play very careful here. Oh, Fon's going for that fair read. Yeah, expecting, probably expecting the monkey flip a little bit sooner. This could be it. Oh no! If he got like, if he like read where he was, All he right. got like a good F smash. A good jump there by Marshall. Just both players playing so clean at this point. Oh, and the up, up air is gonna take it. So, so this is just in. OGC yeah. beat Drow 2-1. I gotta go yep. help out my boy. Nick! Nick! Alright, so... We move on to Losers Finals here, where we're going to get OGC and Fonz.